Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another video and welcome to my second New Star Baseball video. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, hopefully, I'm going to show you how to bat and how to run the bases in New Star Baseball. Now, of course, in my first video, I did a general game overview, an unofficial review, and, you know, I generally went over how to do the different parts of this game. This is part one of a three-part series in how to do the different mechanics of the game. So today's video is going to be all about offense, then I'll have a video about pitching, and I'll have a third video about defense. But for today, it's all about offense, which is batting and running. I'm going to use probably three to four games to show my in-game progress, and then I will also get skills cards from the draws, so I get training practice. You guys can see not only how to do these things in-game, but also in training. Our first game, we're playing the Clearwater Gators. They're in our same division. This is a league game, so it should be a pretty balanced battle. Just throw in some cards. And here we go, our first batting opportunity. We have a runner on second, no outs. So a double will score a run. A base hit should likely do us well. You want the ball to get near full size and then swing. Now that was hit weakly, and that's a pop out to third. We're going to have to improve our hitting, but that's one thing. The ball needs to get to be full size before you release the swing. Along with that, your timing, once it gets full size or near full size, will determine if you hit it to left, to center, or to right. Base is loaded. No outs here. Always in a two-strike count, so you can never not swing at a pitch. Now that's hit to left, and that's over the defender's head. That is to the wall for a double, and at least a couple runs are going to score. Now we have a base running opportunity. Now the base coach is going to give advice. I do not trust his advice. If you see these red circles around second base, they'll be around all the bases. That's what you'll want to pay attention to. So the base coach will give advice that should generally tell you how easy or how difficult it will be to get to a certain base from your starting position. So I'm starting on first. He's saying it will be easy to get the third, risky to get to home plate. But when it's multiple bases that you're advancing, I've had easy outcomes be impossible, and I've had risky outcomes be very easy. What I pay attention to is these red circles. As the ball's closer to getting thrown in and thrown to the base you're trying to advance to, those circles will shrink. And... You can see they're starting out large as I start to run in a second here. Depending how quickly they close in will be how far I can advance. So we're going to take off running. Okay, they're not closing too quickly. We've at least got third. Now, getting to third, they were pretty small. I maybe could have made it home, but I was going to clock in at third. Third. Now, if they were a little bit larger, they weren't closing too quickly. I probably could have gotten home. Now, we have a batting opportunity up 9-0. Going to try to get another hit. Okay, got under that, and it's a pop-out to the pitcher. You can read the spin and try to anticipate where the ball is going, but as you saw, I overthought it there, and it didn't pan out. And we won the game. My guess is my hitting rating will be negative. My base running positive, certainly. Batting, yeah, not my greatest hitting day. But we're going to use a few more games, and we're going to use some training so I can get some good reps in. So we're going to get a batting and running pack. We're going to have some running training. We'll get a running first, use our running-specific training. They want me to run home. Now, the running to home training is very, very difficult because you have to swipe perfectly the entire base running or you're going to get thrown out close, and I barely fail. So second chance, we're going to just spam, swipe, swipe, swipe. I swipe as quickly as I can with my thumb. Maybe there's a better way. Like I don't feel like I'm doing that poorly base running. I'm getting super, super close, and I'm barely failing. I'm failing by like 
five feet out of, you know, 270 feet from first to home. I'm not failing by like 45 feet. When I first started out, I was. So that's how hopefully you know I'm at least doing better. Now, I don't want to retry that. So we're going to do batting. Obviously need energy, but for the video, we're going to do things. Now hit the center field. Pretty easy. The training always starts you meatballs. And then you just hit it. You would swing slightly early to hit to left, slightly late to hit to right, to hit to center. You just time it up right down the middle. Game number two, here we go. Second and third, two outs. Let's focus on getting a hit. Okay, that's high in the air to left. That might be a fly out, but at least it was a good looking swing. Yeah, I wish a deep flyout wouldn't be completely negative, but I understand, I guess, like an outs and out in baseball. All right, another second and third opportunity. That's a meatball, and I hit it foul. If you swing too early, you'll hit foul balls. If you hit three in a row, you will draw a walk. That's not necessarily the best. Okay, grounder. That's a single to left, though. That scores a run. Grounders aren't the worst thing. You will want to watch out for if those grounders are turning into too many ground outs, though. I would recommend trying to get good line drives or driven fly balls, of course. Base running, once again, pay attention to the circles. Base coach says easy, risky. I do agree third base will be easy, and I do agree home plate will be risky. So we're going to clock in at third Advance two bases. Third hitting opportunity. Runner on second, two outs. Let's drive it. Okay, I'm getting under these. I'm focusing too much on commentating. Our fourth hitting opportunity. And we're going to want to center up this baseball best we can. And when we center it up like I did there, we're going to get good results. In this case, a double. So I think we're at least two for four on the game. We'll once again take batting and running cards. So we'll do our batting training first. And they want me to hit a ground ball. So I'm going to get on top of the pitch just a little bit. Okay, no, that wasn't a ground ball. That was a line drive. I've got to get a little more on top of it. There we go. That's a ground ball. So we get plus two to our batting. Would have liked a plus three, but we'll take what we can get. Base running. Okay, they still want me to run home. Can I get it for the video? Swipe, 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 swipe. I'm going to try the two-handed swipe, and I just stopped running when I swiped with multiple fingers. You would think that, oh, the more swipes you get, the better. But apparently I was counteracting myself to the point where I completely stopped running. I have not seen that one before. Second attempt. Oh, I'm so close. So, 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 so close. Big, long, quick swipes. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Come on, runner. Get there. Like, I don't know how to improve my running if it won't even let me get one. Oh, this is frustrating. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Base running is definitely frustrating in this game if it's not going your way. And here we go. Next game, we're hitting in the top of the first, and that is hammered to left. Again, when I focus less on commentating on how to line up the bat, it works better. I get a double. But hopefully you're seeing how I'm lining things up, trying to center the ball in that circle and trying to wait to hit until it appears pretty much the size of that circle. Here we go, second at bat here in the third. Nobody on, two out. And that is clobbered to left. Is that a home run? That should be a home run. Yes. Off the white pole, and we're up 3 nothing. Now we have in-game base running. Once again, this first to third scenario, I kind of would like to have different scenarios than this dumb training one that I'm also repeatedly getting in-game, just so you guys could see a different base running experience. But I've got to show you what the game actually gives me. All right, another at-bat here. Runner on second, no outs. And we're going to just hit that one foul. That was weaker contact. It was probably a flat or maybe a single. Okay, hit that to left. 
and unfortunately that's a fly out. I thought I hit that one pretty well, but it just didn't get anywhere in the air. Fourth at bat here in the ninth, first and second, one out. Can we go three for four? That's hit in the air to left. I think that's a fly out. I think I got too far under it. Or no, it's over the outfielder's head for a double. Let's go. We'll take that. We win 9 nothing. Let's see our player ratings. I think both hitting. Batting, 1.4 plus 1 from running. Not terrible, not terrible. We get a batting and running pack. That will do some batting training. Hit it to left, so we're going to try to hit it a little bit early. And we just hit it foul. Now, that was a fair ball. Interesting. With the little hit zone, you have to let the ball get bigger. There we go. Plus two to our batting. We'll try running again. I think it's going to be the same scenario. If I can't get it this time... I'm not going to do the running training again. Not that I shouldn't do it. Not that I don't need the running boost. But I don't want this video to just be me failing this. Are you kidding me? I'm so close at this. I, I literally even just take a plus one to get a different running scenario for my training. That's literally all it is at this point. Oh, that's the perfect turn. Get there. Yes. Yes. Finally pass the running. It's possible. It's very difficult. You have to swipe repeatedly and hope to get it right, but there we go. Now we've got our last league game that I'm going to feature. We start off with base running. The same scenario. We're going to get to third. We'll just stand up at third. Oh, no. I think I can get this. We're going for it. We're going for it. The risky play. Get there. Get there. Get there. Safe. Let's go. After completing that training, I boosted my own confidence. And now, our first sitting attempt of our last game for the video. We square that up. Hit it well to left. I don't think that's a home run. Okay, probably would have been a flyout. Technically an error. But I felt decent about that contact. Now this one is giving me very risky to get to third, but it's forcing me to get to third. It only lists... The options it's going to force you to do, we did the very risky. If it doesn't list it on the options, so like that, it said third or home. If I only went to second, it would have given you a, or given me a negative stat boost, even though I did a safe base running play. So in those scenarios, I would recommend going at least the minimum threshold, even if you don't think you can get it, because you have to reach that first tier to get any... Uh, performance increase otherwise it's going to be a decrease line that one up well hit it to left well over the outfielder's head for an easy double so i think the game will count us at two for two we're really one for two but we're getting decent at bats here now we're in the seventh our third hitting attempt runner on second two outs that is down the line to left for a double and an RBI. Again, after that first game with jitters commentating too much on hitting, I'm getting the ball squared up really nicely, and I'm getting really good results. Fourth at bat here, first and second, one out in the ninth. We're going to win either way. Let's get one last good in-game hit for the video. Okay, hit that foul. Not the worst result. Not the worst result. Again, three fouls before a walk. Now that's a fly out to left. So we're going to finish three for four. Got a little too far under it. But I never said I was perfect at hitting. All I ever really said is I was going to show you guys how to do it the right way. Which most of my at-bats have done that. Batting actually decreased so that error must have counted against me. Then one last batting and running pack. We get a running training, then we'll use our any skill training probably on batting. We have to run home again. Okay, we just did this. Can we do it again? Get additional stat boost. Oh, this is way too slow. Yeah, that, that first one definitely I'm not going to get there. So what I've noticed, you need to somehow get tight and stay inside the baseline can't really round the bases super loopy like oh i've got a chance i've got a chance get there 
No. Okay, one more. I think I'm pausing at the bases. I've got to swipe all the way through. Not worry about it. Run, 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 run. Oh, I slowed down too much. I'm not going to get there. Running, definitely rough when it comes to training. Batting, pretty easy for training. Here we go. Hit it to center field. So we're just going to square this up. There we go. Hit to center field. Plus three batting. So we're going to get to, what, 53 batting? That was actually a home run. If you square it up right, you'll hit home runs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, at least sort of learning how to hit and run. If there's anything that I didn't explain well enough, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to type a response to you there. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more mobile gaming content. I play a lot of Retro Bowl. Again, this is part one of a three-part series of how-to guides for new star baseball. If these videos get enough support, and if you guys think you would want like a My Career series with New Star Baseball, I would consider doing that. So let me know if you'd want to see that. We'll see how things go. It's kind of weird to upload these vertically oriented games, so that's why I'm a bit hesitant to do that. But if you guys kill it with the support, you better believe I will get you guys back and get you guys the videos that you want. With all of that being said, that's going to do it for now, though. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.